My name is Dr. Charles Agoti. I, I work in the program as a molecular epidemiologist and my focus has mainly been uh, viruses and especially rotavirus. So my job really is to use molecular tools and bioinformatics tools to understand various pathogens. So uh, I work on rotavirus and as you will know, rotavirus actually is the leading uh, cause of diarrhea global globally. Up to about 100,000 children die every year. And we do have vaccines actually against rotavirus. And the disappointing bit though is that they are not uh, working optimally in populations that need them most. And that's the low middle income setting. And my interest is why are they, these vaccines not working optimally. So I'm using a variety of tools including genomics, uh, molecular diagnostics, and epidemiology uh, to understand why these rotavirus vaccines are not working optimally in our setting. Diarrhea is really, really uh, an important uh, public health problem in the tropics. And my research focusing on, on a virus infection that we have a vaccine on, but not working optimally, is contributing to fighting illnesses in the tropics. Uh, in particular, I'm interested to know um, why are the, where are the strains, for instance, which are circulating in the post-vaccine era originating from? And I'm using tools in which are now readily available, including genomics, and to, an, to answer such a very important question. The other thing which uh, we know about pathogens, which we are uh, fighting at the moment, and especially viruses, they change rapidly. And once you have a vaccine in place, there is potential that the virus will evolve and have another uh, type that is not uh, included in the vaccine. So what we are doing is characterizing these strains and trying to look at the vaccine strain to understand whether there is vaccine escape and that is going to point towards do we need to rethink about the vaccine strains we are including the vaccine for instance. So that's how I'm trying to uh, provide information from the basic science I'm doing such that it can go to the uh, vaccine developers for instance. The other thing which I might want to add on, the diagnostics are really important. Uh, diarrhea is caused by a variety of pathogens. And uh, in particular, we have up to 30 agents. And by involving my work, which in looks at how molecular tools can address that, I'm able to tell you whether an infection is not from rotavirus. And that can stop, for instance, giving unnecessary antibiotics. Um, or an infection is uh, uh, from a parasite. So it helps guide the clinician know when a child is coming in with an infection, whether uh, they need to give them some set of treatment or preventative measures. And that's all important in addressing problems at the tropics. Some very important lines of research have been have developed actually in the cup, last couple of years. For instance, understanding on how co-infections uh, influence uh, uh, vaccine immunity. When a child receives that uh, vaccine, what other infections do they have in the gut and how does, does that influence how they are going to respond to the vaccine? When you are seeing a child at the hospital, you are finding them with rotavirus, what other infections do they have? It could be actually rota is just a bite standard in such a child. So things to do with um, reinfections. So uh, there are children who get repeatedly infected with this uh, uh, virus, for instance. So that's really important to understand. So genomics is another area which has developed in the last couple of years. How can we utilize and tap the, what's coming through genomics to understand infections in the tropics? And we are trying to understand genomic variation to help us understand uh, vaccine escaping mutants, to help us develop diagnostics. So those are some of the new lines of research which are now developing and emerging. It's really important for us to invest in understanding, uh, for instance, why vaccines uh, uh, are suboptimal in populations that need them most, especially in the low and middle income countries. Because for every improvement of vaccine effectiveness you increase, you are saving lives. My research fits into translational medicine in, indirectly. As I started begin, uh, from the beginning, I'm more of at the basic science level. But this is part of the continuum of how you get um, understanding of a pathogen in the lab to how you develop a product in the end. And by understanding what uh, characteristics we have of the viruses we see in children who come to the hospital, that's going to inform how we're going to
com constitute the vaccine, for instance, by understanding which strains are still in circulation and understanding where are they coming from, even when you are vaccinating, it's going to help us point where we need to focus our intervention mechanisms, for instance. So we are producing information at the best level, for instance, of how much co-infections are occurring. And that's going to help, for instance, public health experts know what, what else do they need to do at the community to prevent children from carrying these lots of infections that we find as co-infections in, in the real cases at the hospitals.